everybody, it's Dr. Rick dropping in on you. Look, I hope everybody's doing fine. Uh, got your week off to a great start. Uh, <clears throat> uh, before I get started, look, you know the routine. If you believe in what we do, show some love, show some support. If you like what you hear and see, click the like button, click the share button, and subscribe. Um, with all the work that we have going on, there's always a need for support. So again, uh, if you believe in what we do, and we've been doing it, I've been in this for more than 35 years. I've been, I've spent my entire adulthood and some of my teenage years on this fight. Uh, and so uh, I'm here and I'm going to be here. Uh, with that being said, you probably, those who are seriously supporters of what I do and follow what I do, you are probably aware that I haven't been on here a lot outside a couple of uh, streams about the business, about opportunities um, within the business and some promotion of uh, some products or uh, courses or whatever. I haven't really been going hard on issues within the black community. Number one is because I've been working on some major uh, projects that are boots on the ground that are actually the next stage in attacking uh, these enigmatic issues that we face uh, in the black community. And that's one thing. And the second thing is, as you know, uh, a few weeks from laying my mom to rest and I have been saying to my friends when they ask me how I'm doing I'm good I'm good I'm good and one of my friends really took the time to sit down and talk to me and he said no how are you really and it's I realized that I'm not okay and it's okay not to be okay I, uh, I just buried my mom and I'm, I'm you know so I'm putting my energy into healing. And to be honest with you, I don't have a whole lot of energy right now to direct. And so one of the questions that I've been grappling with uh, is how long do you fight to save a person or a people who refuse to participate in their own rescue? How much of yourself do you give to those who will sit up and complain but won't take heed, won't take action, won't commit? And that's the question I'm grappling with. I'm never gonna give up, but how I approach it definitely is something that's on my mind. And so I have just kind of been like, I mean, I get up and I'll say, man, I'm going to do two videos today on this and this. And then I'll just get up. Like, and what I'm doing now is I'm listening to my spirit. Uh, I'm not looking at the analytics. I'm not looking at what's going to go viral. I'm not looking at what content is hot. I'm, I'm listening to my spirit. What is it that my spirit is telling me to do? And I'm going to follow my spirit. I'm going to listen to the God speaking to me. And I'm going to move that way. I'm, 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 I'm moving completely counter to this whole notion of being. I don't want to be a fucking influencer. I want to be a catalyst of change. I'm just using a platform that's available in order to achieve that. My work is done in the research lab. My work is done in the project and program development lab. My work is done boots on the ground in the community. I share with you what I learn, what I do, and what I feel here on this channel. Whether I'm on this channel or not, the work is being done. So I'm really truly looking at this and then the reason that I'm here today because I wasn't going to share today. I was, I had no intentions and then it, my spirit hit me. And so the thing that really bothers me is another thing that stops us from making progress is this need to compete with one another. We can't, we can't do anything of any type of compilation because we're too busy competing. We're too busy trying to be the one of the, the one, the highest on the one on the at the highest perch. We're too busy competing for position. We're too busy 
moving and what happens is when you think it's got to be the top of nothing or when you're competing and you think you've got to be the best of this and the most recognized the one with the most likes the one with the most shares the one with all this what happens is the opportunities co to collaborate with other people with like minds go by the wayside why because you don't want them in your space because you're worried about what they might take with them how many of your followers are going to like them how many and let me tell you something I have never passed one time on any interview. I have never passed on somebody calling me to come work with them in their community on any level. I've never passed on taking the background to work with someone uh, in the forefront and vice versa. I know who I am. I don't need to be on the top. I don't need a bunch of likes. I don't need none of that for me to be who I am. My work speaks for itself. My my body of work speaks for itself. I've put in the work. I've done the research. I've done the papers. I've written the books. I've done the lectures. I've created the programs. I've implemented the programs. I've been in the community. I'm still in the community. And so I don't need to be seen as being better than any damn body. Matter of fact, these younger cats that are coming up, I want them to take the baton. I want them to take the energy that they have, that, that I once had, that you just go hard and nothing everything is just wake up and go i want them to take that energy and then lean into my wisdom i want i want to be in the background matter of fact i said 20 years ago that when i reached 55 i wanted to be the guy that was in the background that the people who were, were out there leading the charge would come to for wisdom uh for counsel uh that i didn't want to be on on any surge that and, and and yet here i am because everybody's so busy about being a brand that nobody is coming together and understanding that it's the very divisiveness that we are practicing that is the catalyst for the confusion and the frustration in our efforts and it's not by accident it's by design we are engineered into a frenzy of hatred jealousy uh, and, and insecurity. Why is it a problem? If so, I don't care. I mean, the whole thing is people have approached me probably over the last year about certain people who definitely have bigger followers, followings than me. And they say, do you have a problem with bringing them on uh, the teachers or the black voice? Uh, do you have a problem with sitting down with them? Absolutely not. Um, I don't have a problem with taking second chair to anybody because my validation and who I am as a man isn't based on who's on the highest perch, who got the most likes, who's the most popular. I told you uh, 15, 14 years ago when I came on the social media, I wasn't here to be popular. I told you I wasn't here to get the most likes, the most shares. I, wa I told you, as a matter of fact, I wasn't going to have the most subscribers. Why? Because I was going to be straightforward to tell you the truth. I wasn't going to chase headlines. I wasn't going to chase viral videos. I was going to bring you the substance that's so desperately needed for us to change. I was going to give you hours upon hours of data regurgitated in a way that you could understand it and apply it to your lives. I was going to come to you and I was going to call you out on a bunch of BS that we do the same way I'm doing right now today. And for that reason, you won't like me because I'm not going to cater to one specific crowd for the purpose of building a following. And if you follow most of them, that's what they do. They're on the extreme one side of something. Why? Because they'll get the people who feel that way, believe that way, act that way to rally with them because they think they have a voice and they'll go against everything else. And there's no balance in the message. There's no balance in the movement. It's all about getting a following that you can build. And they realize that even in doing that, they create a polar thrust. And what I mean by that, well, you have a polarity in your ideology. The other side also gives you exposure because they come after you. So you build enemies and enemies are just as good as allies in this social media thing. So you got all these people, you got me, it's just, and so that's what it's all about. To me, it's never been about that. To me, it's been about truth. So at some point, everybody's been pissed off with me and I'm okay with that because again, I'm not here to be uh, liked. Now here's the thing that I'm gonna leave you with. 
my problem remains. We have to, my problem and my point remains that we cannot continue to be in a divisive state of mind. We cannot see one another as the enemy. We cannot see one another as competition. I'm not competing with anybody out there. I don't have any uh, reason to compete with anybody. I'm not trying to prove anything against anybody. I'm not trying to be measured against anybody and I don't want anybody to be measured against me. What I'm trying to do is set a standard of performance, of showing up and making things happen in the community. That's what I'm trying to do. That's the only thing that's important to me is actually leaving a legacy that says I was here and I stood unapologetically on the things I believed in. I did not play politics. I did not play favoritism. I did not allow myself to be bought out and all of the other things that I see happening you know, the bag never got me. I saw a bunch of things and if I wanted to do it right now, I could play and literally with the offers that I've had put on the table from politicians, from business people, uh, I could literally like, you know, had the bank account real quickly, but at what cost? See, what I've learned and the blessing that I've had is that I've been able to have success financially. So I understand that it, while it takes longer and it, it requires a lot more work and consistency and uh, you got to get out there and make it happen against the odds a lot of time. I know I don't need to uh, compromise. I don't need to sell my people out in order to be okay. And I can live with myself every day I wake up that I didn't sell myself or my people out that I'm standing up and I'm striving to be the best person that I can be in all of my imperfections and in the person that I am. Uh, but what I will not do is sit up and either try to tear somebody else down and make myself look better, go after somebody else to get some kind of clout, uh, drop, drop, uh, and it's a bunch of stuff that I know about people that will make juicy content, but it would hurt the cause. And so I go to them directly, let them know some people have taken my advice. Some people have listened to my counsel. Others have told me to kiss their ass. But at the bottom line, I've done it. So when it blows up, I'm just looking at them as I told you. I told you. And then I let it go. My whole thing is I don't have to drag anybody across. I will address issues. I will address practices. I will address behaviors. If somebody say, is this right? Is this wrong? I'm going to call it a spade. It's nothing to do with who did it. Is this right? Is it wrong? No, it's not right. Should this be done? Should that be done? And, and all of that. My whole thing is we all are trying to grow. We all make mistakes. Nobody's perfect, but we should all be striving to be the best we can be. And we should all be striving to work together. It is the divisiveness among us, amongst us, that makes it so easy for us to be manipulated, controlled, misled, and mishandled. And it's time for that to change. I am so tired of seeing this. I cannot explain or express the magnitude of the frustration that I feel at looking at how we act when so much could be done. And on that note, look, I'm going to get ready to get out of here. As I said, those who have followed me and believe in what I do, we need your support. Uh, if you like what you have seen or if you visited and you looked at the multitude of video videos and the diversity of the videos that are on this channel and you like it, click the like button, click the share button and subscribe. On that note, look, I'm going to get out of here and try to unplug uh, for the remainder of the day. It's been a rough one. All right. On that note, I'm out of here.